Hey everybody, uh, it's me, and today we're gonna, we got a lot to say, so this might be a long video. Okay, there we go. We're gonna see what this guy has to say, and we're also gonna see what this guy is talking about today, or yesterday. And also this guy, maybe, nah. We're going to talk about them a little. And we're also going to see what this guy has to say. You know, he's on about something. It's something scary. Well, let's get a preview. Very serious thing. That's a very serious charge. I think what Google and what others are doing, if you look at what's going on at Twitter, if you look at what's going on in Facebook, uh, they better be careful because there's a threat from the president to the internet. Now, we all have our problems with the internet, but do you feel good about Trump going after the internet? Well, we'll get into that later. First up, okay, Vestival Police, yeah. Yesterday I did not make a video because it didn't seem to be uh, that worthy of, of getting out of bed. You know, I've got exhaustion here, making this long video while I'm super tired and having trouble walking. But I was hoping, I was counting on him to make a good, you know, relevant video talking about diet. Because I also want to talk about other things going on today, but he didn't. He didn't make one today. He wasn't diet related at all. I wonder if he's getting bored with the topic. Now, I've gotten bored with him, <laughs> but not the topic of diet. I can, I can always talk about that. So I went back to yesterday's video of him, and he said some some things in there. If, that uh, was interesting. You might want to know about that. Okay, let's get going here. Going there, boom, in and out in one minute. Total time here, six oh. minutes. Amazing. Oh. But then one person comes up to me and she's like, You okay, Mike? You don't look well. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I didn't catch that the first time. He's in Asia, right? <laughs> 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 Did you catch that? I didn't catch that the first time. You okay, mate? I can't do the Australian accent. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just fooling around. <clears throat> but yeah, that's that's interesting. That was, he was imitating a, someone who, with an Australian accent. He's not even in Thailand. There's, there's a lot of Australians in Thailand. <laughs> okay, but let's, let's just forget about that. Move on to, to, to the person who criticized his looks. I eat raw meat. <laughs> oh, that's got to go back to... You don't look well. I'm just like, I eat raw meat. <laughs> <laughs> Do I look unwell? That's not a good... Okay, he's asking there, he's asking. Apparently, he's surprised this by he's surprised by this. So apparently he doesn't read many of his comments or he's got all those people blocked. <laughs> yeah. Because I've seen many comments that are saying that he doesn't look healthy, that he he looks very different. I don't really notice that much. They say he's puffy. And of course there's the beef herpes. But also, people say that he looks really tired. I guess that's around the eyes. And there. But I thought he always looked tired. But I'm hearing from, from many people. Yeah, that might be news to you if you don't read the comments. Yeah, some things don't get in videos. You can find things out reading comments. Continuing. Good side. 
but she literally like pointed me out like, are you okay? What happened? Do I look ill? Wait a sec, wait a second here. First of all, isn't he ill? <laughs> isn't that what his channel is about? That he's ill and he's looking for solutions? That's the only reason someone would eat a diet such as this? He should look ill, right? Okay. So I gotta be honest with you guys. Yeah, we're trying. Turbo here is hurting my ass. And I just, I can't ride. That, that, <laughs> that is, it does say turbo on it. I'm, I'm into bikes now. I don't, I've learned so many brand names. Let's, let's see what this is here. I just, I can't ride far. I don't want to go exploring with you guys. Old turbo. All right, it look is this turbo turbo wish <laughs> oh, I've never heard of that bike anyway, the seat looks kind of average, not comfort, but not a racing seat either. This ass shouldn't be doing that badly. I just, I can't ride far. I don't want to go exploring hundreds of kilometers away on this ass breaker. <laughs> so we're going to go get some more <laughs> rides. <laughs> the Turbo Ass Breaker 2000. Okay. Skipping ahead to about eight minutes. No, that's not the video. Oh. Oh, again, I didn't write this down. But, oh, wait a minute. I have it on another window. Right here, he starts talking about Dan the Main, life regenerator. And this was disturbing to me. I, I'll, I'll save that until you, after you've seen this clip. Recommend it, Laos, the VNTN. Let's check out that ocean, and then we'll see what happens after that because some things might be changing who knows I might even be moving to Hawaii to live with life regenerator for a bit and then we just change the world right there if he can fix me if it's actually detox and I'm still not cleansed all right that's pretty pretty irritating that I mean still not cleansed He's been cleansing for, what is it, 10 years? He's cleansed enough. That's not the problem here. It can't be the problem. Although, you know, he might... <laughs> there's the turpentine. He might need to cleanse that out, but... Huh. Yeah, his system is just messed up, and he needs to... He needs to reset it. Yeah. <laughs> now, yeah, a cleansing diet or something like that might work, but Dan the man, Dan the man. This guy, life regenerator, <laughs> guy. He's been la laughed off the YouTube stage years ago. That guy, that, that guy that looks like a, <laughs> like a, like a, like a pimp. And Having faith in the life regenerator. This is a video I made in thumbnail. That's now four years old. Life regenerator's Jesus complex. Oh yeah, you want to check it out? <laughs> this is the DTM Recommentator. Dan 
Ryan says something I agree with, I'll be sure to take note of it. Anytime Dan contradicts himself, I'll be all over it. Let's see. What did he so say here? A reminder there that the answer, and he is really working on himself, and I am working for my own perfection. And there was a guy at the hospital, he said, you remind me of someone who has a bit of a Jesus complex. And I, and I thought, you know, maybe that's true, but only in the best way. Because I don't really, I accept myself, I don't get down on myself, but I do believe that within each and every individual... <laughs> hey, people, <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but I am filming myself... <laughs> I'm filming a video where I filmed myself filming a video. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> there is a light of life, a perfect divine essence. And I... Now for those of you who haven't followed him closely over the last five years, I remember way back, 2010, I'd read comments below his videos, and people are always saying stuff, ref references to Jesus. That guy looks like Jesus. Who's this guy think he is? Jesus? I care about people. Most importantly, I care about the truth. I'm not saying that I got the golden key to the truth. I'm not going to make a magic wish right there. Hey, I think man, I found Jesus on YouTube. <laughs> But seriously, um, all, all Dan is is a fasting freak. You know, you don't. <laughs> we don't need him much, you know. And why, 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 Dan? You know, Vestal Police has been here just as long. You know, doesn't he know what Dan knows? Does Dan have a degree on something? No. Why, why all this life regenerator worship? Yeah, far and good. Okay, uh, let's, let's uh, wrap this up here. I'm willing to experiment with that. So we'll try it. Well, yeah, he could never do it really well before. There was always some kind of problem. Why does he think living in Dan's house is going to make the difference? So, who knows what's coming up next here? This is the weird part. It's all just cement. But whatever's coming up, don't support this. He mentioned how much the meat costs that he's eating. That's your money, people. If, if you're watching his videos, you're financially supporting this. You can watch me instead and support someone who's been vegan 23 years and who's going to keep you up to date on the stuff that's going on here. Thankfully, a cloud came and saved our lives. I think we're done. Yep. I think we're done here too. So we'll move along to uh, the other big issue. YouTube. You're on YouTube right now. now keep in mind here. You know, you gotta keep in mind that YouTube and Google are basically the same thing. They are. They are combined now. Google bought YouTube, and they're basically both search engines, except one is text, one is video. A lot of people go, go to YouTube when they search things, instead of a search engine like Google. So keep that in mind when you hear our current president say stuff like this. Thousands and thousands of complaints coming in 
and you just can't, can't do that. So I think you just can't do that. You, you just can't do that. Well, do what? So, uh, I know that this guy's cried for a wolf before. I mean, by that I mean lied. And I've also criticized Google. Uh, not, not Google specifically, but search engines and the way they work. As a matter of fact, I have uh, I had a video plan that I never got to. Big news, uh, of course, should have done it. Should do it now, but I'm kind of busy. <laughs> I'm overworked here. There is so much stuff I want to bring you that I don't have time for. That's why I'm making videos like this, real time, no editing. This this is getting a lot more information out. So that's why I'm doing videos like this, like this. <laughs> I know that makes some people dizzy, so I'm trying to minimize it. Okay, a little more here. Okay, joining us now to take a closer look at this is NBC News senior business reporter Ben Pop. I'll try to be quick here. Yeah. So this is good stuff. There's, there's just so much information I want to bring you here. <sighs> the complaint was the president googling himself did he see this on tv well we try yeah we don't even know that we don't even know where he got it try to trace it back it looks like the night before fox business news lou dobbs uh lou dobbs man he turned out to be a big shithole who he likes who he, he's been known to watch yeah. uh source this report for me now this is the problem see trump gets a lot of his news not just for Fox, but before, like during the election, he was, he was getting his news from. I don't want to. I want to. I don't want to say all these. They're the ones making stuff up. CNN has never made anything up. I keep telling people, tell me, tell me what they've made up. They can't say. Stay tuned. Conservative uh, blogging network that said. Sir, conservative blogs, blogs where they can say anything they want. And they do. 96% is 96% figure, the same figure that Trump used in his tweet. You don't well, there's where he got it. Of course he did. Conservative website, PJ Media, uh, analyzed the first hundred things that came up uh, when they searched, and, and it, okay. it showed these. Here's, here's what happened here. Someone did a, a small study. When, when, in your, when they tried Trumping, right when they typed Trump's name into Google, the search results, that's what we're talking about. I have become an expert on search engines and the way the internet works. And so that's why I really needed to make this video today. And was counting on vegetable police. I've talked about search engines for years now. What comes up is mostly CNN. <gasps> That's a gasp. Then you got uh, NBC, Washington Post, and I guess most of these are on the liberal side, except for the red there. You don't read the color of blood there. That's the Republican color. Wall Street Journal. I don't want to get into them. Uh, crap, crap, those effers. Now I'm surprised that Fox News doesn't get into these search results. A little bit surprised. But let's get more into this here. I had something to say, maybe, let's see, when, when did I have this to say? This, this was uh, a year ago. Yeah, I'm, here I am talking about, by no coincidence maybe, how Trump won 
many reasons. And this is the big one. This is one that a lot of people miss. It's something I know a lot about over my years on the internet. Now this is complex to explain and multifaceted. It's not a simple thing, it's just complex. You can look at it from many different angles. But something I've noticed over the last two or three years specifically is about how the internet works. The nature of the internet. People gravitate towards things they don't like. So you're probably making a connection with Trump already. But I noticed this long before Trump. What I noticed in my vegan community is that people talk more about what they don't like. And they make videos about what they don't like or what they disagree with. Like so many videos debunking the Atkins or the low-carb diet. And you know what happens when people are talking about the negative. Now, a lot of Trump, a lot of his campaign was in the negative. All the things that are bad about current government, all the negative things, Hillary, Obama, and a whole bunch of crap that they made up. Hey, just like in my community, low-carbers making up stuff, lies about veganism, it's just all over the place, and it spreads. Because that's what people want. And this is probably sounding very familiar to my regular viewers. Because this is so relevant in what I do and what YouTube viewers do. In my community, we're trying to promote healthy diets. When there is a revolution in media, when there's a new media form, a new master usually comes along and shocks everybody. JFK, totally written off, but he understood television better than everybody else and he broke through. Obama totally written off, but he understood the internet, you know, that you could raise money, you know, small uh, donation dollars, uh, viral videos, and he was able to break through. Donald Trump understands social media and reality television better than anybody else. Things that you do in social media, like, you know, being outrageous, insulting people, doesn't get you fewer followers on social media, it gets you more. Uh, the, the, the idea of being the villain, the villain actually is the star in a reality TV show, and he kind of understood this, he kind of played up the villain kind of thing. Trump even brought in villains. <laughs> reality show villains. Brought them into the White House, and you saw what happened with that about last week. Here she is. So, ironically, bad news is why Trump won in the first place. And now, he's saying he's a victim of it. People, this is right out of Hitler's playbook. Evil people will think of the most devious thing, things that will work to manipulate the population. Now let's, let's skip ahead here. There's some more in here. Uh -huh. it, and then she was in on the joke and she was laughing along with everybody else. In short, Trump simply went viral. Now keep in mind, this is just one of like 15 reasons he won. <laughs> Actually, we want to get back to Trump and what he said today. More of the, uh, well, let's just watch first. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump's convinced Google is out to get him. Here's what he tweeted today. Google search results for Trump news shows only the viewing and reporting of fake news media. In other words, they have it rigged for me and others so that almost all... St no, that's not other words. <laughs> that's his other words, his alternative words. He's, he's trying to manipulate us. Yeah. Oh, I'm having some troubles here. Oh. 
Yeah, let's see. Um, calling, calling fake news. It's uh, obscene. Basically saying any news that's reporting on the investigation is fake. Why is he scared of the investigation? He says he's innocent, and he also says he wants to weed out the swamp monsters, which has been what the investigation's doing. Why is he acting like this? This, <laughs> this, is, this is the words, this is the behavior of a guilty person, a super guilty person. They have it rigged. People, do you really think tw that, that Google is rigging their search results? If that was true, it would be easy to prove. Stories and news is bad. Fake CNN is prominent. Republican, conservative, and fair media is shut out elite. He should be sued by CNN. He could, you know, they could bring him down for that. That's, uh, that's slander. Because in court, he won't be able to prove that CNN is fake. There's just nothing fake there. They're not making stuff up. 96% of results on Trump News are from national left-wing media. Very dangerous. Google and others are suppressing voices of conservatives and hiding information and news that is good. They are controlling what we can and cannot see. This is they are controlling what we can and cannot see. You mean like an uh, like like internet bot? Yeah, that's how search engines work. This is how they work. The Google, like any search engine, they have these, they have these in, uh, internet robots that go out and scan every website, that, everything that's on the internet. And they then index the sites. They pick up keywords and how the words are used. And then they create a database. When someone uses keywords like Trump to search on the internet, you, the, uh, the, the search, Google search engine brings back a list of search results, which are what the robots think are the most relevant things. Or also, you know, with thousands of possible search results, the ones placed first are the ones mostly that are the most popular ones. And guess what? I got news for you, Trump. You're not that popular. Your positive news is not that popular. And also, news in general tends to be negative. And that's what CNN is showing, along with all those others. Fox News doesn't do much of the Trump news that people want to see. Search results... Search engines are programmed to give people what they will want to or want to see what they're what they're searching for. This is you know, my problem with search engines is is that it does what it's supposed to do. Uh, they're not doing anything devious. It's just that popular things get more popular, and unpopular things stay unpopular. That's the way the world is, has always been. That's, that's just the way it is, Trump. A very serious situation will be addressed. And, and see, Trump doesn't understand this stuff. Most people don't. So, once again, he's talking out of ignorance. And he's, he's using this to play the victim. Google was quick to respond with a statement that said, in part, when users type queries into the Google search bar, our goal is to make sure they receive the most relevant answers in a matter of seconds. Search is not used to set a political agenda, and we don't bias our results toward any political ideology. Uh, and if they did, you can prove it. So prove it or shut it. Jim. 
did you ever think you'd have a president of the United States who didn't know one of life's basic rules, never Google yourself? <laughs> well, I have mask when Senator John McCain dies, um, and maybe work on that approval rating a little bit. So watching these tech companies and the way that they collate news that will affect political thinking, absolutely, just not necessarily or not at all from a president when it looks like a sort of He a, claims a that content. because he heard that on the interweb, uh, Fox News too, which is basically just as bad. They're getting away with a whole bunch of shit over there. Yeah, well, I don't think anyone would disagree with you in what you just said about the power, the unchecked this is, power. This is actually just crazy. It, it actually makes me angry. Or, uh, that this ass is able to just keep doing this day after day after a year now. And no one's stopping this. Things like Facebook. And Maniac. Google, uh, Twitter, stuff like that. But I, I, are, you see, are you sitting down there where you are? are you, because I, I want you to watch and listen to this. This is President Trump just a few moments ago at the White House. Okay, we already saw that. And they have to be careful. There's a classic clip coming up. It sums it all up. really interested to see what, the, um, what regulatory steps the White House and its allies on the Hill propose. Um, I also wonder how Republican rank and file will um, feel about regulating speech, um, but... Uh, huh, isn't that what they say? <laughs> Who, who's regulating speech now? Uh, it's, a, it's an absolutely astounding moment. And all this ties into what happened to Alex Jones. I made a video about that a couple of weeks back or so. He was just suspended. One of his accounts on Twitter was suspended. The other one still thought it's fine. And the suspension was weak. It was just weak. And YouTube gave him two warnings before getting rid of him. But he's done just totally despicable things. He's friends with Alex Jones. They're both scum. Fascinating. If you think about it, Twitter made President Trump's candidacy. It's what he kind of really communicates through, uh, yet he's also tapping into suspicions of the tech giants, which some of which, you know, go um, go to both sides of the aisle. So I, it's just... Search engines trying to influence Twitter, Facebook accounts, and message us. So he's right when he's... Okay, that was good. Here's part of this. While he's talking about Google being biased against him, the reality is that the Russian bots are still out there trying to influence search engines, trying to influence Twitter, Facebook accounts, and message us. So he's right when he says it's rigged, but unfortunately it's rigged in his favor because the Russians are still out there doing this. Michael, do you want to rush up to the, ca uh, to the Hill to tell the Republican members of the Senate what Frank just pointed out, that the Russians are still attacking us? Uh, yeah, you think they figured that out by now, but they don't care. I mean, they, they obviously don't. And they, hear the they won't care until the next election in two years when they get Trump to lose because he's such a jackass. The Russians are going to want to get rid of him. Then what are you going to hear? <laughs> Here's my prediction for two years from now. All these Trump heads are going to sing a different tune. All of a sudden they'll get, want to get rid of these Russian bots. All this hacking that's going on at our server. stand yep. up in, in the Oval Office and, and say that is just absolute drivel. Uh, the, the idea that, you know, he looks at Google and considers it rigged against him, because again, it's all about him. It's not about the fact that millions of people search Google and, and get all kinds of information, some good, some bad, some correct, some incorrect. Um, but now it's a national crisis where he's going to lump it all together uh, and to Frank's so, so Comedy Central was right that Fox News is actually running the country right now. They create the narrative that we end up hearing from the White House. Point, uh, sort of. Now one more clip before we get back to another clip of myself. 
<laughs> okay, this is from the White House. Spokesperson for the White House was asked about this. And this this is just classic. Watch watch the body language. <laughs> needs to be some form of regulation for Google, or what exactly was the president referring to? We'll let you know. We're taking a look at it. We'll let you know. Could you explain a little bit what you're looking into, what you'd like to see happen there? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't hear that one. I didn't hear that one. Leave it at that. Thank you. I said, what are you looking into specifically? We're just doing do some investigation and some analysis. Is, is, That's is, what there, we is do. there any evidence that they actually are censoring any in search results? We're looking into it. That's great. They're looking into it. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> any evidence that they're manipulating the search results? We're looking into it. We'll let you know. You know, a study should be done, an uh, uh, actual scientific one, not like the one that was done by some guy on the internet. They, sh they should be. I'm surprised that they haven't done uh, studies on this, because <laughs> I've been talking about it for years, that, they, that there is a danger about you know, how the internet is manipulated. Here I am talking about it some more. But I'm still not done here. <laughs> the technical way the internet works, and the search box picking up the name Trump, it's interesting to realize, and I think I'm the only one who has even mentioned this. I've not heard this. Just the word Trump. There are no other Trumps. Trump is a unique word. It's even made up. He named himself Trump. It describes his personality, and he wanted to get away from his real last name. Oh, and he changed his name and changed it to that specifically because it would help him in business. In his business, he used the media even before the internet existed. He got himself into the media and he put his name on buildings for people to see. This is all by design. You can put that in a separate category of why he won. Is that Trump was already popular in the 80s and politicians will tell you the most important factor in winning an election is name recognition. People simply gravitate to what they're familiar with. And now Trump's name is mud. And now it's hurting him. Of course it is. The guy's a total fool. And, you know, he's not able to even be the president. He's failing and it's going to fall apart. I'm surprised it lasted this long. What they've heard other people talk about. Skipping ahead. And it only takes a small... Oh, look, look at this. The raw power of pop culture repetition. Do you know a guy who repeats himself and says things three times in different ways? <laughs> Skipping ahead to here. Is affordable. He's lower premium. Easy to forget because the way the world works, and it's why it is less popular, what's more popular, could more popular, and more popular. This is actually the way the world works, and it's why it is so fucked up. So the internet had a lot to do with Trump's win. I don't think he could win without it. And that's without even getting into Russian spy bots and hacking, which did happen. I think that one will be covered by CNN. You said that it appeared to you that Russian paid internet trolls created bots, a type of web robot that automatically put forward misinformation, false stories, that it appeared to you that Russian paid internet trolls created bots, a type of web robot that automatically put forward misinformation, false stories about Hillary Clinton in ways that seemed target uh, certain demographics, certain precincts. By the time the French elections took place this spring, they actually took down 30,000 fake sites. We also know that it's been estimated that 8% of all Twitter accounts are fake, so the ability to manipulate these search engines and some of these social media platforms is real, it's out there. This next reason Trump supporters will like this better, because it's basic. Okay, that's it. 
So, yeah, this was a long video. I think I covered it all, haven't I? Not really sure. Uh, but yeah, I think I have covered it all. So, give me a thumbs up or down. Leave a comment. There's plenty of comment. Plenty to comment. But over. And share this video because this kind of stuff needs to reach the world. Yep, it does. Oh, Captain Apple. Okay, see you tomorrow or the next day. Bye, everybody.